folks and welcome back to my channel. It is Friday, January 15th, 2021 and I filmed a vlog yesterday, all day yesterday. I It was the one that you saw last week and so now it's the next day and I'm filming again, which I can't even remember if I've ever done that. If I have, I don't remember the last time that I filmed two days in a row. But I'm feeling inspired and creative, and so I'm gonna take advantage of that, because why not? And also because I woke up this morning and decided that I'm going to have a whole weekend of just writing, and books, and book projects. So I woke up this morning, did my whole morning ritual, and then sat down and wrote 936 words. <laughs> just like busted it out in like 30 to 40 minutes and for Darius too, Darius Tymond, he's one of the characters, I've talked about this in the past in the Shadow Crown series, that I've just kind of struggled a little bit to write for sometimes. Like I have to really get into his headspace and it takes a little bit longer for me to get there but I was just so there this morning and in it and I decided I'm gonna take the whole weekend so today's the 15th tomorrow is Saturday the 16th and then Sunday the 17th to just write like I looked at my calendar and I was like I don't have any I don't have any like obligations I don't have any collaborations I don't have anything coming up next week so it was one of those things where I suddenly just felt this amazing freedom where I'm like, oh my gosh, I can just write. I can spend 72 hours writing. <sighs> so I hope that this vlog inspires you to do your own weekend write-in or if you can't afford a whole weekend, you know, I totally understand that everyone's schedules are different, but maybe, I don't know, maybe you carve out like one full day or a half a day or even just a few hours to just sit down and work on your book project. So what I'm about to do, as you can tell, it's, it's quite chilly outside. It's 45 degrees. I'm about to run to, I can't decide if I want to go to Walmart or Target. Walmart's closer. I have a fuzz in my eyelash. I think I'm gonna stop by Walmart because I do, I need to get some provisions, right? So I need to get more fireplace logs, like fire starters, and then stop by this area where this man, he's always like chopping wood on the side of the road and then he sells, it sounds like really creepy, but I promise it's not, he's always there, he's legit, but he sells fire logs. So this is just what happens when you live in a rural area of Texas. <laughs> so I'm gonna get some of those and then I just need more things like pens and mostly pens. So yeah, anyways, I could sit here and ramble off a whole list of things, but instead I'm just gonna take you with me and we're gonna go get some provisions. That way I can hunker down this weekend and just write. That sounds so amazing right now. So let's go. Yes, my tree is still up. Go on, judge me. I came home to this and I was like, what were you doing? And <laughs> we see, are you cold? Hey, are you cold? Hi, it's okay. What you doing under there? Okay, I'll catch you later. That was really something. Tell me more. Tell me more. Oh. I got you something. I got you food. We're gonna have to do something about this post beanie <laughs> hair. It's looking a little greasy up here. Good thing I got some dry shampoo. <coughs> now that everything is put away, it's time to start writing, but 
cannot, I can't handle myself right now. But first, I need to get out of this workout attire because I'm wearing a sports bra. Like this just, this is not cozy. This is not riding attire. So I shall return. So my challenge to you, dear writer, <laughs> I want to see your full on weekend write in attire and come tag me on Instagram with the hashtag write in with KM. Can't wait to see your outfits. Can anyone outdo this? I don't know. This is, this is pretty great. <laughs> I just have to say real quick, listening to, like watching my fingers actually type on the keyboard is the weirdest thing. And I also love it. Is this like an ASMR? ASMR, am I saying that right? Kind of thing, like listening to the sound of people typing? Because I didn't want to turn, and I didn't, I didn't want to turn the sound off on <laughs> that particular clip because I liked it. And I also didn't realize how quickly I type because that wasn't sped up. That's just my natural typing speed. That's what happens when you've been writing books for over five years. This is my view from the couch. This is just such a vibe right now. now 8 15 at night overall a good writing day i don't think i'm done yet but i am done filming for this portion of it i wrote so f i wrote like for four different characters today yeah i wrote for darius this morning and then i wrote for braxton i wrote for arden i wrote for ryden and so now i'm writing for surlia so that's crazy in one day to write for all five of your characters. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever done that before. I think I just may have hit some kind of weird record that I'm just making up right now that doesn't actually exist, but that's pretty cool. Been a really good writing day, super flowing, and I will see you tomorrow. Good morning. It's Saturday, January 16th, and I'm back at it. I woke up to the sound of birds chirping, so that was lovely. And this coffee's still, still working its way into my brain, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so my tentative plan for today is to have three to five writing sessions. And then of course, I just wanna sprinkle in being outside and exercising and cooking and being creative in other ways that just helps me stay grounded and balanced so just a reminder what you see here all of this typing it's happening over the course of a 24-hour period actually over a 72 hour period so it's not like i'm just sitting here all day staring at the computer because I don't, I don't think that's healthy. <laughs> I really don't. I think you need to allow your brain to just kind of rest every once in a while for a little bit and 
let the seed of an idea, a plot, you know, a character arc just kind of, I don't know, come to you when you're washing dishes or on a walk or laying in the hammock. So I don't know. That's what works for me anyways. Maybe some people can sit there all day long and just stare at the computer and just type and type and type. And that's cool too, whatever floats your boat, but I know my creative process. So three to five writing sessions today. And I would love to write for all five characters again today. That would be, that would be cool. Here we are, outfit number two. Looks very much the same as outfit number one but I need to get my matching, my matching items right here from Story Arts, my writing gloves. So I'll go ahead, hi, hello munchkin. <laughs> I will go ahead and put these on. So I've got my little writing set up here, my fun little slippers, but I've got a pile of wood here as well as my little writing table for the evening. I figured it's already five o'clock, the sun's going down, it's going to get cold, it already is kind of cold actually. So I figured I may as well just start a fire. What do you think about that? She's like, that's great. <laughs> I have some candles since it is going to get dark. My favorite writing tea, which is honey vanilla chamomile, a nice big glass of water, and my laptop, and then some pillows, and a blanket. And with that being said, I am ready to write. You know, I figure if you're going to have your writing sessions, instead of just doing it in the same old place, day in and day out, <laughs> why not change up the vibe, change up the scenery a little bit? That's exactly what we're doing here. I'm excited to have a fun little campfire, be outdoors in nature. <sighs> No one's to blame, nobody crossed the line I guess we couldn't see, somehow we couldn't feel Maybe we rose too fast, maybe we got too high But I vlogging and getting such good b-roll such good shots last night i actually put the footage together that you just watched that was last weekend it's a week later and i'm just now coming on here to record this outro so i guess it was more of a 48 hour write-in because that sunday i just i needed a day to completely decompress and relax and I did not write any words and I'm okay with that and I'm just being honest about it you know and then because I spent so much time around the camera for 48 hours I didn't want to be near the camera for this whole entire week so I just didn't I didn't film I have that kind of personality where I have to change things up like I can't this is why, you know, the whole humdrum corporate lifestyle just doesn't work for me. I have to be able to do what I feel like doing and I have to be able to do different things every day. I'm not someone who can just sit down and do the same thing over and over again. It drives me nuts. All this to say, I had a 48 hour write-in instead of a 72 hour write-in and I'm totally fine with that. If this vlog inspired you and you're like, yes, I want to do a write-in and I want to just 
write just want to write some words, I want to write my story, then I am offering a half off sale on my Write 50K in 30 Days e-course. It is my best selling e-course. You can go look at all the testimonials on the website. This workbook, the videos, the whole layout, everything. This is how I write multiple books a year. The Write 50K in 30 Days e-course is half off until January 31st in case you missed that sale last October, as well as the Story Mind Mapping Workshop. So I have that for sale also. You can go to kristenmartinbooks.com. You can also find the links in the description box below. Make sure you check that out and take advantage of those sales while they are still up and rolling through January 31st. Another reason to get writing and finish your story is something called the Page Turner Awards. And I'm such a bad little spokesperson because I did not memorize it, but I have been invited to be a judge for the Page Turner Awards for their ebook category. So listen up because this is legit and I'm gonna have to open up my laptop. So the Page Turner Awards is for both published and unpublished writing. So their main prizes are legit. We're talking publishing contracts, audiobook productions, and film rights options are up for grabs for the winners. So go grab yourself Write 50K in 30 Days, write your book, and then submit it to Page Turner Awards and win one of these main prizes, please. <laughs> so the Page Turner Awards consists of five different awards. They have the Book Award, which is open to any published books, whether traditionally published or self-published. The Writing Award, which is open to all unpublished and completed manuscripts. The Screenplay Award, which is open to all completed scripts and screenplays. The Young Writer Award, which is open to any writer aged between 18 and 25. And the Writing Mentorship Award, which is open to any writer with an unpublished and uncompleted manuscript. So submissions opened for the Page Turner Awards on January 20th. So when you're seeing this, it's open. Like you can go submit right now and submissions go through May of this year. So that is more than enough time to write a book between now and May and submit it to the Page Turner Awards and potentially win one of those prizes. I mean, come on. <laughs> and then the winner of the prizes that I just mentioned are going to be announced in September. So make sure you use the link in the description box below because if you do click on that one and enter your work, whatever work you wanna have judged, before February 28th, using the link below, you can actually take 10 pounds because it's UK based, right? But anyone can, anyone can enter. So 10 pounds off of the entry fee, which I believe is like 13 to $14 USD, but don't quote me on that. <laughs> so yeah, that's just something really cool to look forward to, something to work towards in 2021, because I know, you know, things in 2020 may have been just a little bit off creatively, or maybe you weren't writing as much, but knowing that there's something like the Page Turner Awards and that you could actually win film rights or an audiobook production or a publishing contract is really cool stuff, really awesome. So like I said, you can find all of those links, everything that I've been talking about, right here to Kane 30 Days, the Story Mind Mapping Workshop, as well as the Page Turner Awards in the description box below. And I'm gonna sign off here because even though I've been editing this, I've been like blah, 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 with my mouth. Like it's just, I cannot get sentences out right now. <laughs> my brain is just, no. So with all that being said, I hope that you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. That helps me out so much. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.